Today on the channel, I'm going to be continuing my Mandalorian cosplay by attaching the plates to the pants, finishing the back plate, and mounting my rocket pack. And without me rambling anymore, just go ahead and get right into the video. I glued these to the pants. First, I put the pants on and marked out where they were. I used contact cement and some hot glue, some just-in-case hot glue around the border of it on both of them. Now, the fabric absorbs the contact cement pretty badly, so I end up having to put several layers just to kind of seal the fabric, and then a final layer just to bond it. For the back plate, I have a 9 inch by 12 inch sheet of 6 millimeter thick EVA foam, and I'm not actually going to do a pattern for this. What I'm going to do is cut at about 9 and 3 quarter inches. Looking at the image for the 3D print file, it showed a 3D rendering of the finished print against somebody's back. And the way it aligned was their spine was here, with their shoulder blades coming in here, and this stopping before the actual arch in their back. So I translated that into my own measurements and figured out the size that I needed, which luckily is just about the size of the sheet of foam I already had. So from there, I'm just going to trim and round off the corners. There's an indentation on the bottom. I'm not exactly sure what purpose it serves, but just for aesthetic value, which I don't even think you'll really see this, but I am going to put it on anyways. Use my ruler to make marks about three quarters of an inch up and an inch and a half in. From there, I just use my square and my X-Acto knife to cut a straight line from those two points I marked. Uh, trim out the bottoms and round it off with some scissors. I use a scrap piece of foam that I have to make a mount for my Velcro. And I measure it for, at two inches by five inches and then contact cement it on. Using my heat gun, I heat around the edges and bend it down to give it as much as a rounded shape as I can. And if you haven't used a heat gun before, make sure to use caution as the tip of it is metal typically and does get very, very hot. And it stays that way for quite some time. Even though the Velcro does have adhesive, I still apply contact cement to it. Typically the adhesive just isn't the greatest, so I just put it right over top of it and on the surface that I want to bond it to as well. Let it sit for 15 minutes and then join the two together. As I'm waiting for that to finish, I'm just going to go ahead and take my Mod Podge and seal this up. That way while it's drying from the contact cement, the sealant can dry as well and I can just stick everything together. Contact cement has had time to dry and cure, so I can go ahead and stick my Velcro pieces on. And now I can move on to using my rub and buff. This particular rub and buff is pewter, and it's kind of like dry brushing. You just rub it on, and the more you put on, the more shiny it becomes in those areas, the more thickly you apply it. I just kind of put it generally everywhere, followed by... Uh, touching up the edges and making them a little more shiny, so to speak. Rub and buff dries pretty quick. So next I'm going to go ahead and glue it on to the chest rick that I made in a previous video. Okay, I glued this on with super glue and some hot glue. This entire piece here is from a previous series of videos. You can check out the Mandalorian cosplay list if you want to see more of that. But along the top here, I put some extra super glue and just a line of hot glue, just to make sure that that is not going to come loose. I use another strip of EVA foam, 6 millimeter thick, with contact cement to glue it on. This one is 2 inches by 8 inches. I made it a little longer, so I would have some leeway with my Velcro if I felt that it needed to be either adjusted up or adjusted down. Once that's all in place, I just put the contact cement on to attach my other Velcro pieces. When I glued on the 
plate for my Velcro, it did create a little bit of a gap. So I used hot glue to fill that gap so that that piece of foam would remain as level as possible and wasn't tilting one way or the other whenever I'm trying to Velcro it to the back plate. Now, once the super glue dries, I can test it out and see how it's going to work. Well, it's the next day and I put it on and so far it's not moving. So let's try this on and see how it looks. It's rather difficult to put all the stuff on with no assistance. Uh, ideally, I would just have like somebody put the rocket pack on straight after I had put on the rig and not me putting the rocket pack on the rig while trying to put it over my head. And if you're curious as to how long it takes to get this Velcro off, this is a time lapse. It takes a while. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. A little anticlimactic, I suppose, if you were expecting to see me wearing the full cosplay. That'll be in a future video. Plus, like I said, I need somebody here to help me actually put it all on. And I hope you enjoyed the video and this gave you some ideas for projects of your own. If you did like the video and you're not subscribed, please do and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. As always, thank you for watching and have a great day.